Welcome back, everybody. Hope you are all doing well today. For, as you can see, Dave the Diver has come out into early access. I had a blast with this demo. I want to know more, and we're going to find out more. Uh, for those that have not seen the demo or know much about it, we are, of course, Dave the Diver. We are going to be managing our time between diving to get stuff for gear, you know, salvage, getting fresh fresh fish even <clears throat> to serve at our sushi store at night or restaurant i shouldn't say store it is a restaurant and we will be serving customers at night at the same time so it'll be a little bit of a time management and i'm sure there is a lot more to the story as we saw during the demo so let us jump right in and we will let the story explain a bit more in depth a nice relaxing day on the beach mr hermit crab and there's a phone call from our friend slash a future boss yeah i like sushi oh i love sushi well get on over here Ah, and away we go. <clears throat> Fix say while Dave gets to our location, we are going to be diving into a an actual sort of thing we're going to be diving into a blue hole but the difference in this blue hole and a real blue hole is that in this one every day the hole changes like it's set up what is roughly in there what is roughly going to come out of there and try to get us or other things as we saw from the demo there seems to be some kind of gigantic squid crackeny kind of thing in there that Apparently does not like delivery boats. And it doesn't, if I remember right, it doesn't like, because it was the last thing we were allowed to get to in the demo, it doesn't like tech in there. So you can't carry new tech in there, but you can salvage stuff from there. And in return, you may, you know, bring that said item into there so like you couldn't bring a say a gun in there but if you got the materials you need to make a gun from the blue hole then you could bring that in there all right oh dave you got here quickly well i was told to hurry here i was on vacation you know so where's the sushi at as you can see there is our future restaurant in the back well our work endeavor shall we put it now nah. Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at the giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about a warm up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in, AKA tutorial time. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this, and I can't skip this, so you will learn the basics with me. Yes, I know, was, was, was. Of course, I guess all things considering, they, they always can change stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like it wants to cuddle. And sploosh. Nice form. All right, how about trying to stretch out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember, that can speed up oxygen consumption. And the more you carry, you know, the deeper you go, you got to keep it actual little bit of physics there. You got to take that into account, you know, because the farther down you go, the 
the air consumption changes of course that can always be based on what your tanks are holding whether it's oxygen hydrogen mix that kind of stuff yes i do i did do a little bit of diving in the past now let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies the dagger try using the dagger on a small fish you can use the mouse button that's not a key it's a button point oh, I Well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use a harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then, hmm. Looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using a harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Yep, yep. And boom. let's go down here it doesn't matter which fish we catch we're gonna go let's train somewhere close oh you're not gonna let me go down okay that's fine and boom bullseye and what we catch here is tonight's menu items i think that should get you Back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. And not to defeat the Huns. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. That soft fish meat and oily rice. Oh, man, that's just the best. Ah, well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one of a kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? I love how you don't get a choice there. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the Blue Hole. I suppose it was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha ha. All right, go here. We'll head in, and I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like they did a little bit of work on the, the boat that looks a lot more crisp. Hey, Boncho, are we ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You. Uh, your fisherman Cobra was talking about? Well, I'm more more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Mmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature itself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to people... Well, depending on how big that was, that's not bad considering only, well, technically only two bottles fell off. And an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? Bah! In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring any? Well, I have something I just caught. Hmm, only three fish? 
This won't be nearly enough to serve the guest. Hey, hey, I would have stayed down longer. Talk to the tutorial man over there. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Mm, won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients <clears throat> during the day. Okay. Seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy could talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need to get more ingredients. So go catch seven fish first. I could do that. I wonder how hard that's going to be to catch. Because I fix say some of the fish can be a little bit of a woof to catch. I fix I don't know if I can ca bring anything else up yet. That might be a... Uh... Can I get... Well, I can't get you if I can't aim, huh? Okay. Can I pokey pokey you? Nope. Mm, uh, let's do, ooh. uh can't remember let's find out jellyfish on the menu boom gotcha there's one ooh, boop, 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 boop. i would like you please don't come down on my head uh that the there we go Ah, it hurts. I don't think searchings can be picked up with this glove. Probably not. Hey, where did you? Come on down. Come on down. All right, fine. I want to catch one of everything eventually, so. Come to daddy, get you. Ooh, I forgot about that. All right, so I got you. Can I get a, you look like an angelfish. I don't think I've caught one of those. Uh, go up and around. Okay, so it doesn't... Okay, so right now... Doesn't quite look like I have a, a timer quite yet. Uh, well... Wait, wait, can I... Hmm. That. Come on, come on. Oh. Can I get you? Gonna guess no. Can I poke you? Nope. Where are you? Uh, I guess you're going over there. All right, fine. We'll just go ahead and get this air. That's topped off. Surprisingly, I haven't. Usually there's puffer fish. Ooh. I'll take. You? Oh, nah, boo. All right. Boom, gotcha. Err, gotcha. All right. Triggerfish. Oh, I want one of you. Boo. No, no, no. You're not. I'm not through with you yet. Ah. Err. So I got seven fish. I am overweight and chunky. Um, we'll go up, but we're gonna try to catch a few more because the whoop, nope, nope, nope. Good. The more we can come up with, All right, so I still want to catch you. Whoop, whoop, nope, uh, nope, stop. Such a pretty game. Doop, 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 
du. I fix that. I want a decent way out. Hello, boys. Remember me? Come join your buddy. Ooh, come on. No. No, no. All right. I was hoping I could get that. Uh, yeah, yeah, is there anything? We're getting kind of deep. I uh, know. Ooh. You guys are kind of angry. Can I? Ah. Now we're really going to start hemorrhaging some air. No. Come on, come on, come on. So do not want to lose tonight's dinner. The, the more we can catch, the sooner we can get stuff paid off, the better. I still want you. Bubba clubba. All right. Good enough. Let's get up there. Yep. Return to the boat. And technically, as long as you can stay down there and keep finding air canisters, you can stay down there for... A oh, good amount of time. All right. Looks like you caught quite a few. This rate will make boatloads of money in no time. My, my. Would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Hmm. I don't remember. All right. This is this is a fresh look on that. I like it. All right. So we got some blue tang black sea brim or black spot sea brim yellow back rainbow trigger mediterranean parrot fish and a red lion fish yep i will by the way you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon get the ingredients ready before the dinner hour starts gotcha 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 let's head on in there. All right. How are the preparations coming along? I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do was cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Yep, yep. Here you can check the fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you need. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Of course. Uh, let's see. Oh. Not gonna tell me to put up ingredients? All right, now you'll now I'll show you how to register actual items in the menu. Okay. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for your fish you acquired earlier, so try to register that to the menu. Boink. All right, we're gonna add that. Gotcha. All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Nah. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Try filling the rest of the menu, uh, try filling the rest of the items on the menu. Gotcha, Boncho. Uh, now then, let's take a look at how you can deliver, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I want to, how long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. Oh, I'll tell you how, go over to Cobra. Uh, yep. Is it, uh, I think it was S. It's definitely, oh. And it splashes a whole lot. 
Boom. Still got it. That was actually luck. All right. Customers who drink green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Too bad it's his place, so he's not paying. As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. Mm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Won't you try serving him some food while you're at it? We're going to come here. Carrot to here. We'll have to clean it up. Yada yada. Come over here to where I am and take the food. You can dash. Yep, but you get tired. And they get patience. Hello? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. Food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. I still vote that we eat it, Dave. Bancho Sushi never reuses a food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Away she goes. Everything looks about ready. Mm, I haven't cooked for a customer in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for the business to begin. I know. I, I got you. I got you. All right. Here. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ten. Let's go with this. Gotcha. Uh, we could do ooh, six of those. Gotcha. And all right, four, four, and four. Let's see. You're a uh, six and eleven, seven, twelve, seven, thirteen. But man, that would lionfish just. Ooh. But I guess that's one of those we can kind of wait on it. It's not going to be a huge, huge deal. you out boom now, there's no guarantee that we're going to sell all this stuff either uh let's see base can we no sushi made with seaweed vinegar and wasabi i'm gonna have green teas all right so we got all those ready all right let's open her up All right, ladies, what would you like? And he's going to do it in the order that they... There you go. Nope. Yes, let's get this going. Don't get it. No, 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 no. I'm coming. Who wants it? you? Want, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Da, 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 da. Fine. Who wants this one? You do. All right, there you go. That's you. Wait, nope. Come on. That's what's. There we go. Mm. I think we're doing all right. Boom. Probably should have done the farther one out first. Run, big boy. Run. Boom. Right, you need. To, okay. Not too bad. Top sales was the Rainbow Rasei Sushi. Gotcha. Ooh. Revenue six times four. Bonus. Okay. Nice. Net profit only 65. All right. You earned Artisan's Flame. Whew. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. 
were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. Hey. <laughs> Man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Ah, here's our delivery scene. And down she goes. Don't think those packages are going to be arriving on time. Or dry. Oh, no, I guess it could be dry. All right. Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> I was expecting a young, younger, hotter guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the Graduate School of the University of the Philippines. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay. So what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Give me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Mm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine with me. Uh, re reward? I wasn't refusing. I was just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. So that means I can dilly? Yep, there comes the phone unlock. Uh, in... Let's see. Da, da, da. Yep. All right, and then all these will unlock in time. I think the next one we get is maybe the the guy who can make weapons, possibly, or no, maybe it's the one it can upgrades for suits, air tanks, that kind of stuff. Do, do, do. Take one of these. I'm going to hold off on some of these for now. I can always come get the low. Some of this stuff. Whoa. Yep. He'll come down eventually. Is it three shots I needed? Uh oh. Yeah, no, 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 back off. And while we wait for you to deflate. Rough. Ah, uh, just out of reach. Come on, puff up. Fix say you're not getting out of this alive. What? Maybe I should just stab you next time. I want the good stuff. We'll get you. Oh my goodness, I'm almost out of air. You're killing me. I wonder if it'd be easier to do this. Hold on. Deflate. Deflate. Uh oh. Oh. No, don't. 
Oof. Turn to the boat, get some air. That was a horrible dive. I know. Yeah, I know. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. Won't be easy to go any deeper. Mm, I did notice the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, won't you also take a gun? In addition to the harpoon. A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Okay, so it's this first. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the stocky person next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were all thin and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. I don't want to hear that from you. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business, and now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Hmm, season two of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapons researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Mm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Yeah. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it, ap since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back a rope and a scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need one starfish, one rope, one iron, and tonight's menu. Gotcha. I think we'll go for collecting everything first, unless I run across something that is either very violent or I'm pretty sure I can smack around a little bit. Mm, ah, there we go. All right, so that's got all that. Uh, no. Mm. I have no idea what this is. Oh, escape pod. What we got here? Yep. Always take a nice bang stick. There's the rope. Ah. Uh, get back here, you. Except, there we go. I knew you were going to try it. Gotcha. Dang it. Oh, you, you a big boy. You're probably not gonna, nope. Ah, no, 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 stop it, stop it. Bad fish, bad fish. What about you? I want you for dinner. I'd like you too. You want to be dinner? Oh, I just knew you'd love to come to dinner. All right, you. Nope. Nope. I'm not going up yet. There's an escape pod right up there. Come on, come on. There we go. Whew. Let's 
All right, Ellie. Hmm, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ec ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. All right, so money, olive oil, soy sauce, nice. That should get us out of the hole. Ah, uh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. All right, let's go back, and hopefully we can hire someone to help me do food. All right, so we got a Titan Trigger Fish, a Black and White Snapper, and a Long Fin Battlefish. Oh, Batfish. Battlefish. Oh, my God. I really wanted the other stuff, though. Tried so hard. Wait, that wasn't... I didn't get the scrap iron? Oh, come on. I guess those were parts and not a scrap iron. Oh, well... Uh, nope. All right, we got three of those. All right, that's not bad. Whoop, hold up. No. Uh, what we got here? Let's do... Uh, da -da -da. Sure. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Wait. Oh, I guess it takes so many. Grease used for hatching will disappear. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So if we're going to catch a lot of these, then we should enhance it so that way they're worth, worth a, you know, something. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What are you? Um, we only got one. Let's get you on the menu. Gotcha. Uh... We'll put you on the menu. Let's enhance you. Gotcha. And let's see. 10, wait, 10, 20, 20. Oh, that's right, because that's not, this is enhanced, and that's not, uh. I guess we can save the, some of this stuff, Max, for when they tell me about, hey, we can rank up. Because yeah, we don't have research. Okay, staff, and yeah, interior. Okay, so there, we're not ready for that yet. All right, what do you want? What do you want? All right, I can handle that. Oh, oh, whew. All right. uh, you'll get your drink when he gets his sushi, not before. Oh, it looks a little shy. All right, all right. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on. There we go. I get upset. There we go. Bam. And then. Go. Do, do. Come in, come in, come in. Don't worry, I got you, I got you. Do, 
All right, not bad, not bad. Still can't believe I didn't find the scrap metal. That that's just uh, like I remember you. You Dave by any chance? Yes. What is it, sir? Wow. I'm always right about these things. Ha ha. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People civilization. Okay, yeah, I remember this guy now. The Sea People civilization? Ha. Ah. I'll explain it to you. Aren't you the luck? Aren't you? Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. This is the yeah, Marfolk. The Sea People of Civilization lives in legends. They are said to have occupied this region a long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills, allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden change to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course, but proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it was from no known civilization dates to around 1500 years ago as well there were no civilizations in these parts back then mm, that is interesting but what business do you have with me well you see my assistant's cryptocurrency investment didn't pan out oh yeah and he won't be around for a good while that's why i'd like you to help me oh my assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface please go take a look uh, we're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Ah, sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Ah. What? Uh, we don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts? Think about it. It's an underwater civilization is discovered. Countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm, I suppose you do have a point. All right, I'll help. Ah, isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade your diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technology, technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on your phone before we proceed. Yup. Yup. Here we go. Now then, let me tell you how to use the iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Yoink. There we go. All right. Presto. Now we can go down to 80 meters before our air really starts ramping up. All right, good. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can also enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Better equipment, yeah. Alright, let me hit escape right there to stop the time. Go into here. Alright. Uh, let's see, what do we got? 55, we could do inventory. I, I think the most important thing ooh, would be the harpoon gun would be nice, but I think we're going to go with air. Then we'll start working on, we'll save up the best we can and get a harpoon gun. But that's going to be it for right now. When we come back, we will dive down. We will see about getting our scrap metal. <laughs> 
and get our gun going which will then appear in here i think i can't remember but i know he gives us an app and we can get new weapons and stuff unlocked in there i can't remember if the two cross over or not i think it has its own app that's basically going to be like this it's like hey you can build weapons hey we can start upgrading it if you get the pieces but that will be next time with dave but at least for at least the first part i definitely want the air then the harpoon so that way it won't take so long the gun will kind of see from there depending on how things go so until next time i hope you all have a good day good afternoon whichever the case might be and until next time i shall see you all on the flip side